How's it going, people? Well, not much else to do up here, except the honeydew list. So, let's uh, wrap up the penultimate chapter of uh, the Book of Helaman. Chapter 15, which is a dry chapter. Fortunately, I've brought help. Who says I gotta play by the rules if I'm making up the game? Oh, let's read the masthead of chapter 15. Samuel the Lamanite continues his warning words. A remnant of his people to be preserved. Nephites to be utterly destroyed unless they repent, which they won't. Or they will and then they won't again. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Here's to uh, gold books. Man, it's been a while since I had some of that. All right. Verse 1. And now, my beloved brethren, behold, I declare unto you that except ye shall repent, your houses shall be left unto you desolate. Two. Yea, except ye repent, your women shall have great cause to mourn in the day that they shall give suck. For ye shall attempt to flee, and there shall be no place for refuge. Yea, and woe unto them which are with child, for they shall be heavy and cannot flee. Therefore, they shall be trodden down and shall be left to perish. <clears throat> Three. Yea, woe unto this people, who are called the people of Nephi, except they shall repent. When they shall see all these signs and wonders should, which shall be showed unto them, for behold, they have been a chosen people of the Lord, yea, the people of Nephi, hath he loved, and also hath he chastened them, yea, in the days of their iniquities, hath he chastened them, because he loveth them. For, but... Behold, my brethren, the Lamanites, hath he hated because of their deeds, because their deeds have been evil continually, and this because of the iniquity of the tradition of their fathers. But behold, salvation hath come unto come unto them through the preaching of the Nephites, and for this intent hath the Lord prolonged their days. 5. And I would that ye should behold that the more part of them are in the path of their duty, and they do walk circumspectly before God, and they do observe to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments according to the law of Moses. 6. Yea, I say unto you that the more part of them are doing this, 
and they are striving with unwearied diligence that they may bring the remainder of their brethren to the knowledge of the truth. Therefore, there are many who do add to their numbers daily. Seven. And behold, ye do know of yourselves, for ye have witnessed it, that as many of them as are brought to the knowledge of the truth, and to know of the wicked and abominable traditions of their fathers, I'll drink to a abominable, just not as much as last time. Yeah, what do you think? Thanks to the abominable traditions of their fathers. And, and are led to believe the Holy Scriptures, yea, the prophecies of the Holy Prophets, which are written, which leadeth them to faith on the Lord and to repentance and unto repentance, which faith and repentance bringeth a change of heart unto them. Eight. Therefore, as many as have come to this, ye know of yourselves are firm and steadfast in the faith, and in the thing wherewith they have been made free. Nine. And ye know also that they have buried their weapons of war, and they fear to take them up, lest by any means they should sin. Yea, ye can see that they fear to sin. For behold, they will suffer themselves that they be trodden down and slain by their enemies, and will not lift their swords against them, and this because of their faith in Christ. 10. And now, because of their steadfastness, when they do believe in that thing which they do believe, for because of their firmness, when they are once enlightened, behold, the Lord can bless them and prolong their days, notwithstanding their iniquity. Always a way out. Eleven. Yea, even if they should dwindle in unbelief, the Lord shall prolong their days until the time shall come which hath been spoken of by our fathers and also the prophet Zenos. We've all heard of him. And many other prophets concerning the restoration of our brethren, the Lamanites, again to the faith and to the knowledge of the truth. Twelve. Yea, I say unto you that in the latter times the promises of the Lord have been extended to our brethren, the Lamanites. And notwithstanding the many afflictions which they shall have, and notwithstanding they, notwithstanding they shall be driven to and fro upon the face of the earth, and be hunted, and shall be smitten and scattered abroad, Having no place for refuge, the Lord shall be merciful unto them. 13. And this is according to the prophecy, that they shall be brought 
to the true knowledge, which is the knowledge of their Redeemer and their great and true Shepherd and be numbered among his sheep. 14. Therefore I say unto you, it shall be better for them than for you, except ye repent. 15. For behold, had the mighty works been shown unto them which have been shown unto you, Yea, unto them who have dwindled in unbelief because of the traditions of their fathers, ye can see for yourselves that they never would again have dwindled in unbelief. 16. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will not utterly destroy them. But I will cause that in the day of my wisdom they shall return again unto me, saith the Lord. 17. And now, behold, saith the Lord, concerning the people of the Nephites, if they would not repent and observe to do my will, I will utterly destroy them. Uh, destroy them, saith the Lord, because of their unbelief. Notwithstanding the many mighty works which I have done among them, and as surely as the Lord liveth, shall these things be, saith the Lord, God damn it. And that's it for 15. One more chapter to go, people. I'll do that one tomorrow. It's got drinks. Peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because it really matters.